Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at the paste in place command. It's a uh, very cool command that can save you a lot of time. A lot of people don't know about it or, uh, you know, how to get the most of it. So first thing I'm going to look at here is this stove top, this range I'm working on. I like it. It worked out pretty good, except I'm realizing it's too wide. I actually need to squish the whole thing so it's more narrow, uh, which is going to take me down to two burners. So if I grab the whole thing right now and start scaling, I'm going to distort some things like my round burners and in this section right here, this grill on top that I put in um, is all going to be an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by doing a group select and just grabbing this section right here. I didn't model in groups or anything like that. That was intentional to kind of show this example. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this section right here. I'm going to come up and I'm going to say copy. Now I'm going to hold down undo a lot. So I'm going to control Z until stuff starts disappearing. And I'm just going to keep going and going and going and going. All right. All right. Almost there. Almost there. And I am back to the space geometry. Now what I need to do is actually take this whole thing and this has to get scaled down in my imaginary scenario uh, to three quarters of the width. All right, see so when I do that, it causes some issues in here. These uh, burners are no longer circles. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take and get rid of these pieces right here, just delete those. And now I'm gonna paste in that section I copied rather than just going to edit paste or control V, I'm going to use this paste in place because what this is going to do is gonna, it's going to put it right where it was in the original model. Not because of the scale, it moved it over a little bit, but now I can actually take that and duplicate that to get my four burners rather than just the one. I end up using this a lot when I do things like that where I'm in the middle of a modeling process and I realize, oops, I skipped a step or base geometry needs a change, I can grab those details that I've been working on, copy them, and then paste them back after major edits have been done to the base geometry. So let's look at another example of using paste in place. Right here I have a model and I have actually used uh, my layers properly, everything's grouped except this section right here. So if I click on this body of this hand mixer, I can see that it's in the uh, plastic section. But this piece right here, this front guard, I actually want to be in the metal layer. I want that to be, this should be a separate group from the rest of the model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all this. I grabbed all that geometry. I have a little extra here. That's okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it again. There we go. And once that's selected to copy, I'm going to come in here and start deleting the extra geometry that I don't need. This is going to go fast. Ready? Watch how fast I delete this. And there I go. Deleted all the extra geometry, so now it's down to just the plastic housing of this mixer. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to turn the plastic layer off so that whole section is going to disappear, and then edit, paste in place, my copy geometry. All right, there we go. So you can see I got a little extra. I'm, I'm going to clean this up in just a second. What I'm going to do right now is while this is all highlighted, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say make a group and I'm going to apply that group to the proper metal layer. Now if I come in here and click, I can delete these extra lines. Looks good. I don't need that surface. All right, and now if I come in and turn on my plastic, see I have these two now as separate pieces. So it's a great way to separate geometry too. Just copy it, and then you can leave a group and paste in place. So that's a quick look at paste in place. Hopefully it's a tool that'll end up helping you out. Thank you.